What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and today I'm going to be talking about The Amazing Race with you guys. Yes, the season finale of The Amazing Race is premiering this Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Pacific or 9 Eastern, 8 Central, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we have the finale of The Amazing Race coming up. And it's an interesting one because normally there's three teams in a finale. Here we have four teams. It's a two-hour finale, though, so I'm guessing we're going to be seeing two legs of The Amazing Race. Actually, we are going to be seeing two legs of The Amazing Race because they've gone through ten so far, and they usually do twelve in a season. So, yeah, we have two more legs of The Amazing Race to go. As for where these legs are, it's Great Britain or the United Kingdom, whatever you want to call it. And Detroit, Michigan, I believe, is the final destination city, according to Wikipedia. We don't really know what tasks they're going to do, although we did see a preview. And it looks like you got one team rappelling down a building, facing down, like basically walking down a building at some point. We got another one where there's like a British sol British soldier in front of a castle. There's, it looked like there was a rowing task, maybe unlocking a safe. There are quite a few things shown in the preview of what the tasks might be. But we don't know exactly what they are. Let's go over the teams that are going to be competing for the million dollars. We got one Big Brother team and three Amazing Race teams. At the beginning, we had five race teams, three Survivor teams, and three Big Brother teams. But now we're down to just one Big Brother team and three Amazing Race teams. So yeah, we lost Art and JJ first leg, and then Rupert and Laura were eliminated, and then Chris and Brett were or Chris and Brett finished last, but they were spared elimination, so that was the first non-elimination leg. Karen and Eliza were then eliminated, then Rachel and Melissa had another non-elimination leg, so they were spared. And then Janelle and Brittany were eliminated via head-to-head. -head. And then you had Dick Cole and Victor getting spared from elimination. And then Rachel and Melissa were eliminated, Chris and Brett were then eliminated, and then finally Unfortunately, we lost Becca and Floyd, a.k.a. Team Fun, in the last leg. Which is sad because they were the team I was rooting for to win, but unfortunately, once again, they're going to fall short, finishing in 5th place overall. So yeah, the four teams remaining. We have Nicole and Victor, the only Big Brother team remaining. In fact, the only non-Amazing Race team remaining in, the amazing, in this season of The Amazing Race. And then we have Tyler and Corey. We have Colin and Christy, and we have Leo and Jamal. So, yeah, my prediction at the beginning of the season was that Leo and Jamal would be the winners of this season, and so far it's holding up pretty well. Although Leo and Jamal haven't really performed as well this season as they have in the past. They finished second to last multiple times. They finished first in the first two legs, so they started off very strong, but then... After that, they finished 8th in the next leg, and then they just barely survive, like, not finishing last in the next several legs. They finished 3rd in the last leg. But, yeah, one thing about them that they're normally good at is navigation. But they have not been that good at navigation this season. Like, they really haven't. They've gotten lost multiple times. They've had a harder time completing tasks. Like, they've, I feel like they've argued with each other a lot more this season. Not a lot, but definitely more this season than they have in the past. And they haven't been U-turned, which is probably the most ironic thing. Because, yeah, considering they're doing worse this season than they have in the past two seasons, and yet they haven't been U-turned. They have used the U-turn. They used it on Nicole and Victor in the last leg. And then Nicole and Victor ended up finishing fourth, just ahead of Team Fun. But, yeah, anyway, let's get to Nicole and Victor. Nicole and Victor have been, like, surprisingly a very strong team. They've never finished first in a leg, but they have finished second a few times. They have been the target of potential U-turns. Like, we, we had a few episodes ago, we had Becca and Floyd and the Afghanimals wanting to target them. And then the whole thing with Rachel and Alyssa happened, where they got, on the, got into a scuffle in Switzerland. So, yeah, we had that going on. But, yeah, Nicole and Victor, they have been U-turned, like I said, by Leo and Jamal, but they did survive it. Uh, Leo and Jamal's reasons for U-turning them don't make a lot of sense. I mean, there was a U-turn vote earlier in the season where 
Nicole and Victor cast their vote against the Afghanimals, Leo and Jamal. So Leo and Jamal wanted to get back at them for that. So they ended up U-turning Victor and Nicole, which partially, which is part of the reason Becca and Floyd couldn't catch up because I mean Becca and Floyd they got lost on their on their way to the detour, and then they ended up last to the U-turn board where Victor and Nicole U-turned them so that they could stay so that they could keep themselves in the race because. Becca and Floyd were the only team behind them. So that so Victor and Nicole did what they had to do, and they ended up surviving. I don't really know how well they're gonna do in the finale. I mean, again, they've never finished first, but some but we have seen seasons where a team does not win a single leg until the final leg. It happened with Amy and Maya in season twenty five. And I think it happened with Josh and Brent in season twenty one as well. So we have seen the underdog team come from behind and win before. I don't really know if it's going to work with Nicole and Victor. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull through, especially since they're going up against three very strong, amazing race teams. But, yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to pull through. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But, yeah, let's talk about Tyler and Corey because Tyler and Corey are arguably the strongest team this season. They had a string of four consecutive wins, so, but they did finish second in the most recent leg. They didn't do quite as well. They had a little bit of problems with directions, I think. I think they missed a boat at one point in the canal. Or is it them that missed it? I know Leo and Jamal missed one. I don't remember if they missed one or not. But yeah, they ended up in second. And they were the tar like they weren't the target of the U-turn at the U-turn vote, or even the double U-turn. Although the only team ahead of them was Colin and Christy, and Colin and Christy decided they didn't want to do it. But yeah, they were the target of a U-turn in the second leg when Becca and Floyd U-turned them. Although, Becca, again, Becca and Floyd only U-turned them so that they could have a higher chance of staying in the race themselves because they were U-turned by Rachel and Alyssa that leg. So, yeah. So, yeah. Like, Tyler and Corey, they're definitely one of the strongest teams, but, like, they're not targeted as much as, like, Victor and Nicole even, which is kind of weird. But, again, I mean, maybe it's because they got to the U-turn board at the same time as Colin and Christy in the last leg, and they agreed not to use the U-turn. So, maybe that's the reason why they weren't U-turned. I don't really know. But, again, they weren't targeted in the U-turn vote at all, and that was after they had already won two legs in a row. So, yeah. But, yeah, they got to be one of the favorites to win, for sure. And then the other, the other strongest team is Colin and Christy. I think Colin and Christy have finished fourth twice, but they've never finished below that yet. They've won two legs, and, and like right now they're going in. They're going to be starting the the next leg in first place. Of course, that might not matter because equalizers. We've had equalizers literally every leg except for one this season. So yeah, but yeah, I mean Colin and Christy. They're the season five veterans. They haven't raced in 15 years, but they're doing really well. They've calmed down a lot since season five. That's for sure. Like, you don't see Colin yelling at, yelling out, my ox is broken. Or, like, getting mad at cab drivers because they drive on a spare tire 100 miles to an airport. Like, we haven't seen that at all. So, yeah, they're much calmer this season. They're working better together, I feel like. They're, they're kind of working with other teams. Like but they're working independently as well. Like, they've done more roadblocks, or Christy's done more roadblocks, I should say, than she did in Season 5, because Christy only did one roadblock in Season 5. But, yeah, they're definitely one of the stronger teams, and they've been the target of many U-turns as well. Like, they were U-turned by the U-turn vote in, like, when in the leg the Rileys were eliminated. I don't remember where that was. But... Yeah, they were voted on by three teams, the Riley sisters being one of them. And I think the other two teams were Becca and Floyd and and uh, Leo and Jamal. So, yeah, they're definitely, like, teams know that they're one of the strongest teams, and they're going to be a tough competition to beat in the final leg if they get there. But, yeah. And the other question is, like, what is the final leg going to entail? Like, in season 25, we saw four teams go to the final leg, and one of them was eliminated 
midway through it. Are we going to see that again? I mean, I feel like based on the preview, we might, but we don't really know. But, yeah. Anyway, if I were to predict where the teams are going to finish, if I had to predict right now, I would say Nicole and Victor are going to end up in fourth. If they get to the finale, I, th I think they're going to finish third. I don't really see them finishing first. Like, the other three teams are just way too strong, I feel like. And the Afghanimals, like... For all the trouble they went through this season, I do think they can win, but I'm going to predict them in third. I think Tyler and Corey are going to finish second, and I have Colin and Christy winning this season. So, yeah, a lot of I think a lot of people have Colin and Christy winning this season. So, yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me to see them win, or Tyler and Corey, or even the Afghanimals. If Nicole and Victor win, that would probably be one of the biggest underdog stories, for sure. But, I mean... I don't really mind any of them winning. I love all four of these teams. I think they're all great. Like, Nicole and Victor are kind of like the stereotypical cute couple on The Amazing Race. But that's perfectly fine with me. At least they're not bickering and fighting all the time. They've had a few spats, but nothing... I mean, we're not talking about, like, Jonathan and Victoria or anything like that. So, yeah. I think they're a good couple. And I wouldn't mind seeing them win. The Afghanimals, they're definitely a little more, bit more cunning. They're definitely sneaky, although I do think they are a little bit worse this season than they were in season 24, I think it was. Was that the All-Star season? Yeah, I don't, I don't like them quite as much. I still really like them, though, and I wouldn't mind seeing them win. They were my winner picks at the beginning of the season because, I mean, they finished fourth twice, and I feel like they don't want to let that happen again. So, yeah, and they started off the race so strong, so they're going to want to finish strong. And I do think they can win. And, and again, I do really like them, just not as much as previous seasons. And I love Tyler and Corey. Tyler and Corey are probably my favorite team remaining. Although Colin and Christy are right up there with them. I love Colin and Christy this season as well. I love them in season five, even though they kind of spat, they kind of argued a lot. At least they had that passion in them. And they had that competitive spirit, which is what I love about them. They still have that this season, but they're just a lot more calm. That's really the only difference. They're just way more calm than they were in Season 5. They've definitely matured, and I would love to see them win. It would be crazy to see them win, too, because, I mean, they're veterans. They haven't competed in 15 years, so it would be pretty crazy to see, like, these veterans just come out and smoke these newer guys, like Tyler and Corey, even after Tyler and Corey have won four legs in a row. And, I mean, Tyler and Corey are fast team too they could beat anybody in a foot race i mean they were the first ones in switzerland to complete that two mile run to the clue or for the roadblock or whatever it was so yeah they're definitely one of the faster teams and they're one and they're definitely the probably the strongest team i mean again either them or colony christy but yeah that's pretty much all i have for my finale preview of the amazing race what do you guys think about the final four teams remaining so far do you love them? Do you hate any of them? Are there any of them you really, really want to see win? Are there any of them you really, really don't want to see win? Again, I don't really care who wins. I'm rooting for Tyler and Corey and Colin and Christy. But again, if Leo and Jamal or Nicole and Victor win, I would not be disappointed. So, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on the Amazing Race finale. So, again, leave your thoughts in the comments below what you think of this season so far. I think, like, once the Riley sisters were eliminated... Like, that's when I was like, okay, I don't really care who wins anymore. Just give me a good race, and I feel like we've gotten that. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the season so far. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content to come in the future. And until next time, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to say California cool. Peace.